so after using postman for more than 5 years finally yes guys yes i have ditched the postman and right now i have started using one of the awesome rest client which i think have a potential and i'm going to talk about why i have ditched the postman and what are the right now disadvantages of using postman in your api testing for example for example if you are starting out as a manual tester what are the disadvantages that you may face which i have faced personally i'm going to talk about this in this video all right so let's jump into it and do make sure you watch till the end and make sure you like and subscribe all right so let's get started hey guys welcome to testing academy my name is pramod and we are discussing why i have ditched postman and how i have started using one of the awesome rest rest client not rest assure sorry guys it's a rest client which is called as thunder client of visual studio so if you know i think uh, this is one of the important thing is that uh, most of you guys are already using visual studio for uh, any kind of a task for example it can be if you are working with some html pages javascript or probably java project so, uh, means i have seen people using for java projects also right so uh, you are using visual studio code for all the things right i'm going to talk about why i have right now not using the postman so because i have already have installed uh, postman but why i am not using it for the purpose i'm going to talk about in this okay so let me tell you like what are the problems i think uh, these are the problem that probably you will also face in this okay i uh, i think uh, so the one of the important problem that i have faced is that uh, right now postman if you know right it's kind of a becoming a api collaboration or api development platform right so it's really 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 heavy right now it basically means it's a very heavy app and too many features which are basically killing the core feature of api testing i'm going to talk about why i'm saying this because let me tell you why very very in a very simple way okay uh, i have used postman for few of the things right for example making post request making uh, patch request get request delete request or certain integration scenarios that i want to manually check right these kind of stuff and sometimes i have to write certain code as well as the minimum feature that i use is environment that's all right this is the like the minimum or i would say the maximum feature that i use in postman right but what's happening right now with the postman is that they have included lots of features like monitoring mock servers history environments workspaces and exploring apis reports and turn off the turn of the features so what's happening what's happening it's it's becoming a heavy application right so if right now i'm using a 8 gb ram and i have a mac also right and trust me uh, whenever i open postman uh, it's uh, i open it for a long time it creates an issue because it's a uh, a resource hogger it's taking lots of ram i think you will be also uh, facing this kind of issue so again heavy uh, it's becoming a heavy application because of the lots of feature it's basically killing the core api testing which is basic basic stuff that we need to make it simple rest of the request right uh, switching to another tool it also doesn't make sense because uh, if you are already using visual studio for your api development if you are a developer we are using it then definitely uh, inbuilt client in visual studio definitely will help you right and we have used for postman for initial testing since, since it was lightweight means but this is one of the important reason we basically we have started using postman or gui you call it graphical user interface right because it was lightweight at the time but right now it's not lightweight so one of the disadvantage i would say uh, so this is uh, the tool that i'm talking about it's a thunderbird uh, thunder thunder client no thunderbird it's a thunder client and it's a very very lightweight guys trust me it works very well i'm going to show you practically how you can do it so basically if you have a visual studio install you can directly click on the extension and it will install it okay let me make myself a little smaller and you will see uh, this icon basically uh, this thunder icon right this one let me make myself uh, yeah okay you will see this icon if you click on is this uh, if you click on it you will see a similar kind of a thing that you have seen in postman right we have collections we have environment we have activities which is basically history right so let's do one thing let's i'm going to show you like one demo okay uh, so let's do list of single user okay so this is one of the api that suppose we want to test it out uh, what we can do is just we can make a simple get request uh, here again we can add query params if we want we can have authentication basic or ba i think these are the most important ones we don't require those eight uh aws digest like those of different uh, authentication which are most of the people right now are not using it headers you can definitely add and there's a two basically which is added uh, to let you know that these are the uh, available ones right you can add your uh, another headers also this is the body that you want if you want to add you can add json xml form as as well as graphql right and you can add your test cases which are again awesome because these are just uh, basic test cases like uh, 
uh, it should be equal to 201 uh, for example 200 right now right for example let's make a simple get request okay so now right now our test case will fail because uh, if you see the response is basically id is equal to 2 right suppose i want to response body should contain uh, data let's say i want to do that so our test case is passed right so this is i think it's one of the easiest way and it's very lightweight and i've seen this thing and what you can do is that you can also create uh, collections so suppose i have to create a, a crud 2 right now I can uh, basically save the request here. For example, I can add new request, request name, let's say test, right? And I can basically save it and put it into it, right? It's a very similar. Similarly, we can create environments. For example, you can have a stage environment. If, if you click this icon, you will get uh, this. This can be a prod. And similarly, uh, if you have uh, watched my previous videos, you can use uh, this same variable in your test cases also. If uh, whenever you are basically running with the collection right so it's a very similar way and i have been using it for i think two or three weeks and trust me it's very lightweight that's one of the important uh feature i would say and uh simple right it's a to the point you don't have to do anything else no heavy shit you have to just run it it's a ui it doesn't have i think uh, it, it doesn't have as of now command line but most of the time we are using whenever we are using postman we are using it because we want to do uh command line uh sorry gui right you are addressing and all right so i i believe this is uh one of the important thing that i want to do let you know that guys i have started using thunder client uh i have done okay i have shown you the lightweight test cases you can check out other things like uh they uh this is the official website right and this is the thunderboard uh their product hunt make sure if you are liking this make sure you get get it or upvote it okay and uh, you can check out their github page also i think it's open source so you can check it out uh trust me i love this tool uh and uh, for bigger purposes of course you will be using postman for most of the time for example if you are someone who has a test case that is written in uh, uh postman scripts and you wanted to run in command line then definitely you will be using for newman and if you are running in a cicd environment definitely you will be using it with the docker right but uh, again if you are someone like me who are just basic uh, just sometimes do a basic checks of the apis and sometimes uh, write very ba basic test cases as of now then definitely thunder client is probably the best tool that you can use okay and uh, if you're advanced if you have a, some advanced test cases like do we do have so definitely you will be switching to some other code based to uh, frameworks like rest assured in pi uh, for example in python pi test and other uh, pi request libraries right so these kind of stuff okay so that was it guys i oh, i hope you have learned something new or is it all right uh let's back okay i hope you have learned something new and i have and i i think uh, definitely give it a try guys this thunder client and let me know in the comment if you find it very lightweight uh no heavy minimum feature which are essential essential feature i would call, call it and definitely if you have loved it make sure you like and subscribe make sure this you share with your friends all right thanks a lot and if you are someone who want to learn more about the postman definitely do check out my other playlist and if you want to become a software tester if you are someone who is serious about software testing definitely check out the playlist of as that blueprint all right okay? thanks a lot and have a nice day this is your host pramod see you in the next video bye